Well, it is that time again, ladies and gentlemen. We are uh, about to take a look at who we have for our next legendary hero, and uh, I'm, I'm pretty pleased because I called it. Uh, if you saw my prediction video, I narrowed it down to a couple different princesses, and uh, I ultimately ended on either Veronica or who I ultimately thought would be Azura. And, uh, well, as with any legendary hero banner reveal, uh, we have the name and the title. So let's go ahead. Let's take a look. Oh, I'm so excited, dude. I'm so pumped. All right, come on. Oh, that's some... That is some armor. <laughs> that is some armor! Alright, we're gonna we're gonna pop back to that. We got B dual flying. So that's interesting. We'll have to read that. Oh, uh, dude. Is she staff? I think she's staff. Is she blue? Staff? No. She's Lance. She's the Lance here. I'm tripping. We got Nina, we got Hector. We got Takami back. We got Camilla back. Uh, we got Summer T. Oh, God. Ooh. Ooh. Veronica's still there. <laughs> and, of course, Marth. Flora is here. Hellbindy's back. Air is on the banner. So she is, uh, she is our lumped-in colorless representative. Oh, my. Oh, hey. Why are you... Hold on. Why are you blue? Hold on. What does that mean? Why are you blue? Why are you blue? <sighs> I'm so confused. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, these special heroes may or may not appear again in summoning events held in the future. Okay, yes. But they will be. But they will be. Uh, so mythic heroes are also in legendary banners, so they're lumping them together. But again, they're not the same grid. So that's interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Let's, let's, let's recap, shall we? Aw, oh, dude. They said I was crazy. They said it wasn't a princess. They said it wasn't a Zora. Called it. <laughs> oh, she's a flying blue tome. She's not a staff. Oh, okay. All right. I saw, I just saw the the thing she was holding. I saw I saw the prayer wheel. Uh, okay. So grant speed plus three if singer dance is used. Grants bonus to targets attack speed defense res equal to highest bonus on target ally for one turn. Example. <laughs> So confusing, they added an example. Uh, if target already has a plus six bonus to attack, grants attack speed defense res plus six. Wow. Wow, dude. Okay, so... Uh, who? So with attack tactic, for example, <laughs> which she comes with, uh, you could instantly get all the stats, minus the HP, HP uh, buffed up to six. Wow. Dude. Dude. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Yeah, Azura's pretty good. I'm, I'm going to be real with you. Azura's pretty good. Uh, I'm glad I have like 300 orbs saved up right now. Pretty thrilled about that. Uh, Gray Waves grants another action to target ally. If it... Wait, hold on. Hold on. So this is, this is Sing or Dance, but not. Which means... The pointage must be higher, and if that's the case, do we finally have a point viable singer dancer in arena? Oh man, this is about to get crazy. Uh, if target is an infantry or flying ally, uh, target can move one extra space. What? Dude, this is busted. This is so good. Uh, that turn only does not stack. Target, uh, cannot target an ally with sing or dance. Uh, this skill is treated as sing or dance. But what's the point value? That's the question. What is the point value? Hopefully it's like, I don't know, 400? Maybe more. Uh, alright, so B, dual flying 3, grants HP plus 5 if unit is 5. Oh, well there you go. Never mind. We don't really need the point value, do we? Uh, unit stats is 170 in modes like arena. So, uh, at, at the at the sake of sacking off your A slot, you now have an arena viable uh, singer dancer. And we've got aerobatics, uh, which unit can move to a space adjacent to any infantry armored or cavalry ally within two spaces. 
Uh, and then attack tactic three, which if you don't remember, at start of turn, grants attack plus six to allies within two spaces for one turn, granted only if the number of that allies movement type on the current team is less than or equal to two. So good for stuff that's uh, not cav not cavalry teams. <laughs> but we got a flyer. We got a flyer. And Gray Waves grants an extra movement? Oh my god, dude. Or an extra an extra space of movement, I should say. Whew. Crazy. Alright, so let's uh we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna wait through the everyone is here montage and then we're gonna take a look and give a quick quickie breakdown of who on this banner. Uh, I think that's everybody. Alright, so Blue, of course, has our new Azura, uh, Summer, Camilla, and Fjorm. All three very good units. Fjorm is, of course, free to play, uh, so nothing really too exciting with her, but Summer Camilla is, I think, well, was? I don't know. At, the, at this point, Azura is also now a blue tome flyer unit, uh, but before that, Camilla had kind of um, dethroned Summer uh, Corrin. But that might change now that we have um, Legendary Azura. So, <laughs> so there's that. Uh, that's really nice. Uh, blue is obviously worth pulling for. No mistaking that. Uh, colorless, we have Summer Takumi, Brave Veronica, and uh, Air. So depending on who you chose for Choose Your Legends Round 2... Uh, you may have already gotten a free Veronica. I feel like that was probably the best pick overall. Um, just because army units are army units. And uh, even though we had Deathblow 4 on uh, Brave Silica, I feel like Brave Veronica was definitely the play there. So again, these units, two out of three are potentially free units. Um, air is already a guaranteed, so one of the three for sure. Uh, it's a good pool. Of course, Summer Takami's weapon has de Desperation built in, as does uh, all the, the Summer units from that, including um, uh, Camilla there. I I feel like Colorless is a good pool. I feel like it's strong. Um, but a lot of the units are, are have, have been kind of available if you've already wanted them. So, uh, again, not, not really a whole lot of pull potential there. Green. Green, we have uh, the, the Flying Nino. <laughs> We've got Helbindi and Legendary Hector. Uh, that is a very strong pool. Helbindi is pretty darn good. Uh, legendary Hector is freaking Legendary Hector. You don't really need to say more. And uh, Flying Nino is just regular Nino on flying steroids. <laughs> so obviously a very, very strong unit. Uh, there's not really a downside to pulling on green, necessarily. Um, Hellbindi's got some interesting uh, fodder potential, if any you need it. And, uh, yeah, that's Nino. Nino's pretty darn good. So, pulling on green, not really a downside. Uh, none of the units are free to play, obviously, unlike the, uh, the last two that I just broke down for you. Um, red, however, Flora, incredibly strong unit. Summer Tiki incredibly strong unit and legendary marth really really strong unit <laughs> really strong unit um i would give the the strength award to the red banner for sure um there again m similar to green there's not a downside to pulling on red uh flora has great great fodder potential as does summer tiki uh, but you don't want to you don't want to father summer tiki because summer tiki is like pretty darn good um, I know that we say a lot of the, uh, the 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 armor units are like the best units in the game, but Summer Tiki comes pretty darn close. Uh, <laughs> and she's not an armor unit, uh, so for what that's worth, you might want to check that out if you haven't gotten her yet. Um, ultimately, I'm pulling for blue because there's not really a downside for me to pull on blue. Uh, I can always use more Fjorn merges, and uh, you know I I I have. Summer Camilla, but I could give Juicy Wave Plus to someone else who would appreciate it. Maybe. May's already got one. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Blue. I want that Azura, man. 
Uh, she's got the res buff. She's a water uh, uh, attribute, whatever. <laughs> blessing, water blessing. Uh, which is very fitting, by the way. I very much like that. And uh, does that mean we have Azura Emblem yet? I think we do. I think we have regular Performing Arts, New Year's, and uh, and now Legendary, which is super exciting. Um, this is a strong banner. I'm not going to lie. This is a very strong banner. Uh, it, it, it's definitely better than the last one, I feel, that we had. Um, the downside is there are a handful of free-to-play units that are in existence already. Um, so if, if you've got some of them, there's a little less effort that you need to, to partake there. Uh, but this is a long one. This is like a 10-day legendary banner. So you got some time to kind of mull it over. And uh, I believe we'll also have a teaser and trailer for the New Year banner very, 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 very soon. Probably in the next two, three days or so. Um, probably by the weekend, honestly. So uh, if, if you're not really feeling this, you do have the... The opportunity to wait until we see what's going to happen with the New Year banner before you go all out with your orbs, uh, like I probably will. For Azura, honestly, once I get Azura, I'm done. <laughs> the beauty is the IVs don't really matter half the time uh, because Singer Dancer units are pretty much just dedicated support. And uh, she's very much meant to be with Arena in mind. I don't know how I feel about the A slot skills or whatever just kind of taking over. Oh, well, now they're viable in Arena. Uh, we know that the arena scoring thing is a problem, but we're just going to slap this skill on and call it good. I don't really like that adjustment, um, <laughs> but I'm glad they at least gave her the option. Um, but either way, guys, let me know what your thoughts are. Called it, by the way, just another secondary reminder, this face right here, called this legendary hero. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, again, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. A lot of you guys were digging the Legendary Azura idea uh, in, in my prediction video, so I hope most of you are happy. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you next time.